You're watching This Week in Iowa, Sunday morning talk focused on the political scene in Iowa. Welcome back, everyone. We are joined now by Secretary of State Paul Pate, um, talking about not what we usually talk about. <laughs> um, so we really appreciate you being here. Mm -hmm. um, the month of April is Sexual Assault Awareness Month, and uh, Safe at Home is a program that's offered through your office. So to get us started, can you just Talk to us about the issue of sexual assault, domestic violence, sex, tra sex trafficking. How much of an issue is this in our state, our little old sure. Iowa? Well, unfortunately, it is a significant one. We know we all love Iowa. That's why we're here. Mm -hmm. And we think we have one of the best states to live in, safe, place to raise your children, go to school, etc. But we also have some of our challenges. And sexual assault and domestic violence is one of those. Uh, last year alone, we had over 6,000 reports of uh, violent acts. And we prosecuted successfully over 3,000. And that's just the tip of the iceberg because a lot of these victims don't want to come forward mm -hmm. and acknowledge that they're having this challenge. So what can be done to help survivors or people who are in those situations? That's part of what we tried to do in April and we continue to do year round. We want to bring a f attention to it, a spotlight if you will. We want those folks to know who are trying to become survivors that there are programs out there available to them. Uh, perhaps even their friends or family should know about it so they can help pass the word to them. I happen to be the uh, promoter of the Safe at Home initiative that mm -hmm. my office started, where people who are victims can come to us for address confidentiality. So the bad actor can't find you as easily. So public documents don't just lay out your home address for them to show up at. Uh, and voter registration is one of those. You know, when, you, when you go to register to vote, you've got to put your address down. And it's public information. So through our Safe at Home program, that information is held confidential. And we instead give them a generic address that would put you right in the middle of Des Moines River which is why I <laughs> prefer the bad actors go. Uh, but it gives them a chance to resume their normal life so that when it, whether it's voting or whether it's dealing with any other legal business, they can use this special address that we've shared with them. What was the catalyst to mm -hmm. this? Did you hear from survivors of uh, domestic and sexual sure. violence, or how did this come about? Well, during my 10 years as state senator, I worked a lot on victim crimes and, and, and tried to come up with plans to how we can help them better. And I'd heard about Safe at Home from other states. Mm -hmm. About uh, 15 or 20 states were doing it, and when I was elected to this post, we started exploring it. And coincidentally, we had a, a state legislator who came to us and said, hey, I've got a constituent who's been a victim of her address information given out so the bad actor could find her. What can we do? And we got to work together, got the Save at Home bill done. It was passed unanimously in both chambers. What more can be done, and yeah. can it be legislated, or what needs to be done? Who needs to come together? Sure. Well, I think we're doing some pretty significant things on the legislative side. I think it's about community support and making sure they have all the information. There's a lot of tools that are available to people who want to become survivors after this type of uh, situation. So we just need to help them out uh, and get that to them, and that's why the Safe at Home is one of the programs. But there are crisis centers around the state that are available to them. They will assist them at any level. Uh, they should reach out for that kind of help. We spend a lot of time doing shows like this and others so that people know about it, and uh, should they need it, they can tap into it. And you've also uh, partnered with the Coalition Against Sexual Assault, CASA. Um, That's right. What has that partnership been like? Well, they're the lead. Uh, we are just a resource. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, the local groups like that are the ones who are the direct uh, on the front line, if you will, with these folks and helping them out. We are providing them one more tool, and we are not the counselors, so I always caution people, you know, we're there just to help in our own way. So reaching to them is so crucial. We have right now over 550 people in our program alone, and a key thing is they represent 60 counties. So it's not just in urban areas. Mm -hmm. Sexual violence and domestic violence is in all counties. Secretary Pate, we appreciate you being here. Short break. We'll be right back.